this Just For Kids video. If you're having a little trouble with the picture on the TV now, maybe you just need to adjust the tracking on your VCR. That's the little switcher button just at the bottom of your tape player. If you need help, just call mom or dad or big brother or big sister. They'll help you. See you soon and enjoy the show. Earth, the year 2525. A teleportation experiment goes wrong and test pilot David Jantz is rocketed through the center of the galaxy. He discovers an alternate universe caught in a life and death struggle against the tyrannical armies of Grip, led by Dark Star and his mighty cyborg Orn. When Chance enters the hole in space, it allows Dark Star and his command ship to enter our universe and gain an oppressive foothold, leaving Orn behind to continue his conquest. Two teams are formed to battle Grip's legions. On Earth, Dr. Chagall and his team battle Darkstar and his henchmen. In the alternate universe, Major Chance leads his rebel band against the evil battalions of Orn. Together, they are Macron 1. <laughs> However, I shall not take no for an answer, Dr. Chagall. Such distinguished guests as yourself, so close to our beautiful shores, it would be criminal not to accept my hospitality. Oh, come on, Dr. Chagall. Well, I suppose it could Splendid. I look forward to meeting all of you, and in particular, the charming Kathy. Charming? I must confess, word <laughs> of this entrancing creature has long preceded your arrival. Until then, Doctor, hasta luego. Pretty smooth talker. I think we should go. Huh? Bellaconi is an up-and-coming nation. Hmm. I'm not sure it wouldn't be worth our while to have a look. Ramos rubs me the wrong way. I admit he's a bit slippery, all right. But I think the more we learn about him, the better off we are. In a very short time, President Ramos has transformed his tiny country into a powerful military machine. He may already have gained an advantage over us. Ramos is nothing but a two-bit dictator. My dear Blade, on the contrary, he's quite brilliant. Genius or fool, I want to know what he's up to. Sir, yes, sir. sir. Lord Darkstar, Ramos has attacked. His force has just destroyed our Balkan research station. Our uranium mine in Antarctica has been sabotaged as well. For that, we blow Ramos right off the map. It appears our friend is playing for high sticks. The Bellaconian military bid you their warmest greetings. I suppose you have witnessed the little demonstration of power. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we. Listen here, you devil, don't go pushing your luck. The choice, my friends, is simple. Either you join forces with me to defeat these Macron people, or I will annihilate all of you along with them. My analysis shows President Ramos 98% capable of carrying out his threat. Mm, fascinating. Blade, can't you keep that moth-eaten beast quiet? He could detonate the meteor, Lord Darkstar. And destroy all of us along with him. It seems clear that under these circumstances, there is only one thing we can do to prevent this upstart from terminating us all. Join forces with Macron One. I won't be fighting with the likes of Macron. But your Lordship, explain to me just how you intend to work that out. Once Ramos is out of the way, Macron One will be ours for the taking. Yes, sir, that's correct. Ridiculous. Our weapons library broken into and computer data stolen. Investigate the theft at once and bring me whoever is responsible. Dr. Chagall, a Bellaconian helicopter squadron is approaching Macron base. Thanks, Hugo. This is Macron 1. Please state your intentions. 
Muy buenos tardes, Dr. Chagall. We have come to offer you personal transportation to the fiesta President Ramos is giving in your honors. And we will request landing permission. Permission granted. Yeah, but doctor... Why don't we give them the benefit of the doubt? I suppose you're right, in spite of the fact that I heard the beautiful women of Bellaconia are the biggest danger around. <laughs> it's a perilous job, but someone had better do it. Let's make our move. Please, Senor Scott, you must tell us all about yourself. I think it must be fascinating to be part of Macron One. Well, <clears throat> it's not really all that exciting. Do not be so modest, Senor Scott. I imagine a man as clever and handsome as yourself must have had all kinds of adventures. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Come over here, amigas. Senor Scott is going to tell us all about his heroic deeds. Um, well... Senorita Jameson, I firmly believe without a doubt you are the most beautiful woman here. You do? I say that with the utmost sincerity, Senorita. We are all most honored. We at Macron One are also very honored, Your Excellency. I am less interested in Macron One than in you, Senorita. Uh oh. That is why I have chosen you to be my partner for this evening. I am an American woman, and if there are going to be any partners chosen this evening, I'll choose them. Uh. It's our president. They look. Mm, maybe I should show my magic trick. A toast to our beloved Presidente and to Bellaconia, soon to be the most powerful nation on Earth. Viva Ramos! What's happening, Wallflower? I just can't compete. Well, maybe you should try going into politics. It couldn't hurt. Senor Presidente! Huh? Senor Presidente! Grip forces have been sighted just near the capital. Grip has no bones to pick with me. Well, Scott? Shall we? Let's yeah. Senor Rita Jameson. <laughs> I just want to wish you good luck. Just because he's cute and he's got a nice place. Hmm. Kathy, you okay? Your brain waves are setting off an alarm on my scope. We've got an upcoming fight here with Grip. Well, you just be careful, you promise? Mm-hmm. Cross my heart and hope to blast him to pieces. This evening has been a most unexpected pleasure. A surprise retaliation. Well, if it is a fight that Grip wants, a fight they shall have. Surrounded and yet we do not attack. Frankly, I find everything about you strange. I must admit, circumstances are a bit bizarre for my liking. I'd appreciate it if you spared us the philosophy and simply gave us your demands. Cut him off, Doctor. He's setting up a trap, sir. I say forget about him. I'm sure you get the gist of our feelings. All right. I'd be so very pleased if you'd stupidly destroyed yourselves. However, if you take a moment to be rational, you will see that I have Macron Base neatly surrounded and yet make no move to attack. It should be obvious that I am protecting you. Oh, yeah? Protecting us from what? Why, from President Ramos, of course. But Ramos isn't anywhere in this vicinity. Trust me, he's lurking out there somewhere. And Macron Base will be his objective. That's weird. My scope is registering some activity. Huh? You better believe there's been some activity. What? So you best wise up and wise up on the double. Tell him to forget it. 
Now listen here, you little fool. Ramos wants to destroy Macron base, but if he harms the meteor fragment, we all get... Oh, brother. If they're sincere, we'll find out like this. If they don't come after us for what we did, they're sincere, right? Don't bet on it. Well, I'm beginning to believe him. And there's one sure way to tell. We check and see if Ramos is back at the palace where we left him. Two of you must stay behind to defend the base. Kathy, why don't you stay home and babysit? No way! Ramos is mine! I hope she'll be okay. That Ramos is spooky. We'd better follow her. There may be some trouble. I shudder to think what Ramos would do if he had her in his clutches. Not that I care about her. However, it would be inconvenient, uh, strategically speaking. Just as I suspected. Macron 1 does not dare trust Grip. I don't believe that nonsense about a meteor fragment any more than they do. Ah, what a magnificent world, and soon it will belong to me. Connect me with Macron Base. I wish to give them an Presidente, ultimatum. Presidente, a Macron ship is approaching the palace. Whoever it is, we must stop them. Juarez, listen to me. I have an idea. I want you to arrange for a holographic transmission. Senor. She'll never know the difference. This place really gives me the creeps. Looks completely deserted. Well, I guess I'd better go in and look around. Yes, sir. No time like the present, I always say. If she doesn't call in soon... Maybe I should try this way. I wonder what's behind those doors. <gasps> well, what a pleasant surprise. Well, well, so you are here. <laughs> Of course. Where else would I be? Your Excellency, I have detected an unusual trimodal frequency directed at the Presidential Palace. I know exactly what it is and where it is coming from. I knew you would come back. Admit it. Women desire men who are capable of taking them by force. What? And it is by force that I shall take control of Macron 1 and the world. <laughs> Not if I can help it, you two-bit Casanova. Then perhaps I can improve my image by growing in your esteem. Big enough now? Sorry, bud. Oh. Oh. You missed. I'm starting to get worried about Kathy. Don't be. She can have let us know. No, no, that's quite enough of that. <clears throat> uh. Really, my dear girl, there is no reason whatsoever for you to be so hostile. Mm. What you see displayed before you is what is commonly known as a puppet president. What do you mean? All one need do is slip the strings, as it were, and pop goes the pretense. <laughs> now the question is, where is he really hiding? No matter. In the proper time, all things will be revealed. Now you please leave. Huh? Now what? Well, have you got the babe there with you? No. When you do, hold on to her. We can hold her for ransom when the time comes. He's right. We could use you to strike a bargain. Still and all, Ramos remains our common enemy. That battle hasn't been settled yet. But it will be a pleasure. Do you mean to say you're going to let me leave? Hmm, precisely what I'm saying. You're free to go. All right. I'm out of here. Pity. She never even bothered to say thank you. Okay, Venus. Fill me in on what's happened while I've been away. Venus, are you reading me okay? Yes, I am. You're coming in real well, Cal. We're picking up intergalactic transmissions. I'll do a scan right this minute and put out a tracer. Great. Never thought I'd live to see the day when Grip would protect us. Ramos could be just about anywhere, right, Jason? We suspect huh? he's in space. But they're using some type of cloaking device, so we can't spot them. I'm triangulating all Belliconian transmissions in order to get a fix on their location. However, some of these transmissions are being diverted to an unknown destination in the alternate universe. Let me know if you find anything. I have reason to believe that Ramos' agents have stolen weapons information from our data banks. You mean Ramos' spies in the other universe? I am surprised at Ramos' cunning. Though Macron 1 is equipped with formidable weapons, I recommend that we employ all our resources to defend them. Here, Macron, so don't be worrying about nothing. And don't be bashful if you need anything. Let us know if we can be of any help. 
Yes, and feel free, Kathy, to confide in me for any reason. Those boys get me nervous when they're polite. I almost prefer them the way they were before. Hey, Han. As soon as we clear that rascally dictator out of the way, we're in a dandy situation with regard to our ally. Be quiet, you fool. Don't you realize they're monitoring everything you say? Yeah, be quiet. Try and make me, you scum. I will. Boy, have we got trouble. Uh-huh. Hey, what's that down below? Looks like Ramos' ships. The sun's coming out from behind the Earth and ionizing the cloaking field. The ships are becoming visible again. Presidente, they have locked into our positions. <laughs> It doesn't matter. This is perfect. All hands to your battle positions. Ramos has stolen the plans for our ionization field generator. Looks pretty bad. C2 is advantages reduced. That will be my greatest pleasure, Your Excellency. Born, is Ramos attempting a coup in the alternate universe? Affirmative, Lord Darkstar. I have been observing massive clandestine equipment transports which the Ramos insurgents have been conducting here by night. I believe I have located their headquarters. However, I'm still uncertain as to where and when they plan to attack. I await your further orders, Master. Continue to follow all insurgent activity. Yes, Your Highness. However, the insurgents are scattered about the city and it is impossible to monitor all their activities at present. Our great leader, President Ramos, has informed me that the time has come to launch the attack on Macron 1. Our attacks here will precisely coincide with our president's assault on Earth. At this very moment, our spies are infiltrating their headquarters in order to sabotage their fighters. This will substantially reduce their defense capabilities and give us the advantage we need in order to... Sorry, Buster. That's as far as you go. No hard feelings, of course. Huh? Okay, spill your guts. Well, maybe this pistol here will inspire you. I, Save me I, the effort. I don't want to get mad. Major, I just found out from an inside source that Ramos intends to attack Beta Command and Macron base at the same time. They'll use a Mason reflector, a kind of ionization device. It's my guess they lifted the plans from Grip's computers. Navu, have you got any specifics? Major, we know that Grip was working on a Mason reflector, but that's all the info we have. And that means we're in trouble. Yes, Doctor, it appears they have a brand new thing going. I hate being in the position of not knowing what we're up against. Looks like we're about to find out. Look what Ramos cooked up. Us, Prince. The pleasure was mine, Catherine. I must admit, he's quite a gentleman. We must destroy the President. Huh? The Macron robot is no longer immobilized and is headed right this way. Direct all fire at the robot. See, that thing is turning this way. It's pointing right at us. Brace yourself, or hope we can outrun it. At times like this, I think I'd rather be at the beach, laid back and working on my suntan. You know. How about that for a little sunburn? Doctor, the field wave has us locked in. Generate lasers! The blast reflected right off! 
off. Watch it, Macron. Hey, Blade, they're burning my back end up. Getting a bit too warm for you? Sorry about that, big and handsome. <laughs> Why, you little... You had better watch your mouth, Charo, because if you don't, I'll wash it out of space grid. Stay right with them. Shielding Macron is our top priority, and our safety comes second. What? Yes. Don't forget what we're fighting for. If they are destroyed, it means the end of us all. That's it, Ahon. You tell them. Don't wander off, little Macron. <laughs> Just stay where you are. And don't pull anything funny. Right. Hmm. I wonder what Kathy will think of me when this is over. I think I found a way to break through this field. <laughs> Let's try it once more. Let me string you up, my beautiful little blue pearl. <laughs> the moment of victory has arrived. We can hit him with the final blow whenever you want. <laughs> I was so busy staying alive, I missed all the important stuff. Exactly what happened to Ramos, anyway. I managed to transport Macron Base into the center of the Meson reflector, Scott. The resulting power surge backwashed over them like a tidal wave. I knew there was a reason we kept you around. Thanks for your vote of confidence. You know, I have the feeling the grip isn't going to be as helpful in the future as they were today. No, you can't expect a leopard to change its spots. Still, I think Prince Ahar was a real pussycat. Okay, Spot, cut it out. Be sure to look for these other Just For Kids videos in your store. See you next time. Laser Tag Academy and the Champion's Biggest Challenge. Inspired by the laser tag phenomenon of the 80s, it's 110 minutes of lightning fast adventure set in the far future where the number one sport is laser tag and its number one player is Jamie Jerrin. She's the sole possessor of special powers that is, until the resurrection of a master criminal from the distant past. From then on, it's a never-ending challenge and dueling lasers. Help! Professor Jamie! Chasing him through all time zones, she returns to our time to seek the help of her distant ancestors, Tom, Beth, and Nick. An unusual meeting, to say the least. Tom, did you see that? She just jumped right up here. Yeah, how'd you do that? Hey, why are you wearing those funny looking clothes? <laughs> What are you doing, a TV commercial or something? I'm Jamie Jaren. I'm from the future. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a pepperoni pizza. Let's go, Beth. Wait! Sorry, we don't talk to fruitcakes. No, really, I have to talk to you. You got two minutes. Once they're a team, nothing can stop them. Sharon's for good. <laughs> Come on, Nikki. You can do it. <laughs> Nikki. I, I got it. Whether it's by bus, bicycle, 
helicopter, wading pool, or just plain old everyday laser teleportation, you can be sure it's a journey that laser tag fans the world over won't want to miss. Whether they own the laser tag toy or love the hit TV series, this is something they're sure to love. Available now only on cassette from Celebrity, Laser Tag Academy, the home of champions. Thank mm -hmm. you.